What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So glad that I could have you here on this fantastic St. Patrick's Day. And uh, it's also my birthday. Turned 30 years old. So me and the wife, the wife and I, we went uh, shopping, just hanging out, having a good time, spending my birthday doing doing things that I think are fun. I like to go to, you know, I like going shopping and, and looking for soaps and colognes, so on and so forth. And that's exactly what we did. I don't regret it a bit. Uh, so, here's what we're going to do. I got several soaps that I'm going to bring to you guys and share with you. And uh, I, I, I just got to do a video on all of them, but I'm going to do them a video at a time. So... If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel because number one, I got all kinds of cool content coming up in the very near future. And then I forgot to turn my light on. I'm getting ahead of myself. And then, uh, yeah, I got all kinds of cool content coming up in the near future. Don't want you to miss out on that. Plus, check out some of my previous content. All kinds of cool stuff on this channel. So now that you have officially clicked that subscribe button. Let's get on with the video. So, uh, if you're like me, uh, you like to go to these places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and, and other ones. Uh, those are the ones that are kind of local to me. I know there's multiple, but ma the main ones for me are TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They have these crazy looking soaps and colognes. I love to find them. Well, I found one that I've never seen before. And that is this right here. What? Looks pretty wild. It almost looks like the beer can labels. Uh, and it does say that it says beer infused soap. Light, original beer. One pint, 16 fluid ounces. Alcohol, 4.5% volume. And uh, it does say on the front, it says, This beer infused soap has a masculine fragrance and nourishing ingredients that soften and cleanse your skin. Our unique formulation blends the finest ingredients to give you a creamy and moisturizing lather. Your skin will feel clean and refreshed. Since 1969, imported scented men's soap. And, it, and you know, if you can read all that, there it is. You can pause the video, read it yourself, uh, if you can anyway. Maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Silver Sage Scented Beer Infused Soap. This is a 10 ounce. This is a pretty good size 10 ounce bar of soap. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I got this for $3.99, $4. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it's got vintage slots on the side so you can kind of touch and feel and uh, get a better scent from the bar of soap inside. Uh, you know, sometimes that's not necessarily necessary, but that's not necessarily necessary. Forgive me. It's not necessary, but it, it's something, you know, it's cool. Some of the Castle Bell or how Castel Bell, Castel Bull, Castel Bull, whichever one it's pronounced. They have the little vented holes on the side. You can easily, you know, see what the bar soap looks like. Plus you can kind of smell it. Uh, but, you know, this is to a bigger degree here you can you can touch it this beer infused soap has a mask uh, it literally says it on the back too i'm not going to reread it ingredients there is the ingredients list pause video check it out one thing i will know uh one thing i will note is that this particular bar of soap, uh, it, it doesn't have a particular name on it it doesn't have like a name that, you know, it's a, a, a particular brand. It doesn't have any of that. It just says, soap made in USA using ethically sourced global ingredients manufactured by CST Fall River, Massachusetts, 027121. Now, I have actually seen that before, and I'm trying to remember on what bar of soap that was. Oh, I know what it was. I will link that in the description below. It was the, uh, uh, it had a gold seal on it, a little fake plastic gold seal on it. Uh, damn it, can't remember what it was. Very cool bar of soap though, super cool. I, I enjoyed it. I used that one till it was nothing but a little soap nugget. It was great. Uh, these products are pretty decent, especially for the price. 
please, if you find them, do yourself a favor and pick them up. They smell great. They lather great. And they make your skin feel good. And uh, a lot of times they have like a heavy fragrance on it. So you get out of the shower and you at least smell like the, the original product. Unlike, you know, a lot of bars of soap where you use it and then it just kind of disappears. It, I don't like showering and then coming out feeling like and smelling like I've never even showered in the first place. That sucks. So some of these little heavier scented products that, that you know, give you that scent and it carries longer, I love those. And I, I've been able to find those at, at, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for... A small price, half the price of what a, a, a really good bar soap smells like. So, please, pick you some up. But, getting back to the actual bar soap here. Super cool. I love it. Packaging is awesome. It looks it looks like a beer can, and I guess that's what it's supposed to represent. Uh, with the silver and, you know, this little oval-ish type of label. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. On the top here, you know, that's where it says the, like, the fragrance, silver sage, this type of sage fragrance, maybe. Uh, doesn't smell like beer. I will, I will tell you that right now. But uh, the packaging on this thing is a 8.5 out of 10. Super cool, eye-catching. Uh, the only thing I will say is if you, if you didn't know and you saw this from afar, you probably wouldn't recognize that it was a bar soap, so it does kind of throw you off a little bit. But once you know it's a bar of soap, uh, you 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 can kind of take in consideration that the uh, uh, you know that it's that's a pretty cool looking package. Now let's open the bar of soap and take a look at the bar. What do you think? Oh wow! So uh, the bar of soap has like these little indentions. Look, it, it says bar soap. Very odd. Uh, that's. I mean, obviously, I know it's a bar of soap. What the hell do you think? Uh, what do you What do you think? What do you think I think it is? A poop? I don't know. Like a carrot? Like seriously? What do you? I mean, not the point. Not the point. What is the point though? Is you notice here? It's. Uh, it's. 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 What do you call it? It's. It's not flat. It's. You know, uh, it's got some indentions in it. I, 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 why? I'm not necessarily sure. It's a little bit of an odd choice for a bar of soap. Um, it is different, so it does get some originality points for me. But uh, very impractical. No, it just it's a little odd. But uh, I guess it doesn't really hurt anything. Um, but you know. The soap itself feels really slick and smooth, which is kind of giving me some indication that uh, it's going to lather up really good. And uh, usually bars of soap, they kind of have like this wet, wettish kind of waxy feel. They lather incredibly and they go so far. Uh, it's almost like you need way less than your kind of like drier type of soap. So you have to you know scrub and scrub and scrub to get a really good lather. Uh, those types of bars of soap, they just last no time. So this one kind of has that nice, wet, waxy feel. You're going to get a great lather from it. So uh, I'm super pumped about that. Bar of soap, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Just very odd for this uh, little, I don't know what you want to call it. What do you call that? Like a, it's not level. It's, it's, it's got a rise on the side. You know, just... Super crazy. I don't know. However, the the fragrance is absolutely phenomenal. I, there's only one fragrance or one scented soap that it kind of reminds me of, and that's the I think it's the Silver Sage Man Bar. Uh, that's a super awesome soap as well. Uh, I, I mean, they smell relatively identical. What I will say is that this one smells stronger. That fragrance is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a, it smells like, like, like a sporty type of cologne. It's fantastic. Very, very attractive. Very, 
Mmm, it's great. Seriously, I don't. I mean, it's fascinating. It's captivating. It's it's astonishing. It's 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 perfect. It smells great. That's a ten out of ten, fragrance wise. I could smell this all day. I wish I wish this was like an air freshener. I would just like put it in my car or just dangle it under my nose. It smells fantastic. Ten out of ten on the fragrance. So let's 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 uh let's take it back here a smidge and, and, and go over everything. You know, here we got this awesome bar of soap for four dollars at my TJ Maxx. And uh fantastic find. Very I'm assuming that it's a smaller manufacturer. Obviously, maybe not. Maybe, I guess they just mainly manufacture soap bars for, for uh, discount retailers such as TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Because I, I don't know where to find this any other place. Some of their bars of soap that they sell, I mean, you can Google it all you want. You can't find it. It's hard to find. So, I, I don't know how that works. Because like I said, there's no name on this at all there's no name you can just google like you know silver sage soap org or you know what i mean very odd the only thing i have to go by is looking up cst soap or something like that very weird but you know like i said if you look down here at the bottom it says that it's manufactured by this person very very something I don't know what you would call it. Just super odd. Anyway, all in all, this is a fantastic find. I, I hope to find uh, a, a quite a bit more like that. But I do have several more to take a look at. And I really want you to be there when I show them to you. So click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's been all over the place, but uh, it's been a long day. Click the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I'm going to link that other, uh, those other two bars of soap, the man bar, I'll link that below uh, for, for similarity purposes. And I'll link the, the other bar of soap that uh, I remembered. And uh, yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day, happy birthday to me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.